So what is up guys, you're about 2k here and I'm back in our video and today I'm showing you the best guard builds from each pie chart in 2k21. Now the pie charts I'll be showing you today are the pure blue, um, the green and blue and the more blue than green. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe um, because we're on that road to 600 subs. And yeah, let's get right into these builds. So the position, um, you want to go with the point guard for the first build obviously, and you want to go with the pure blue pie chart. Um, we're going to go from top to bottom, so yeah. Um, you want to go with the speed and vertical, so the fourth one down. Now the finishing, you want to max out just the first three in your finishing, close shot, driving, lip, and driving dunk. So you get 28 finishing badges. Now the shooting, you actually want to max out all the shooting. The reason why, is just so you get the max shooting badges possible. And you'll actually be able to shoot with this build kind of a 99 overall, so yeah. Max out the pass accuracy and ball handles to get 14 playmaking badges. So as you can see, this is more of an offensive type of build. You know what I mean? Um, you have 53 badges just for your offense, so the finishing, shooting, and playmaking. So yeah, really, really good um, for your offense. And max the perimeter, lateral, steal, defensive rebound to get um, three defensive badges. Now as you can see, like I said before, this is more of an offensive build, not a defensive build. But I mean, still you have you still do have your perimeter, lateral, and steal maxed out. But yeah, you have 28, 11, 14, and 3, which is a total of 56 badges. So yeah, really, really good bad spread. Now the body shape, I'm going to go with um, solid, but it's really up to you. Now the height, you actually want to go with 6 foot 5. Okay, 6 foot 5, just to get the 95 driving dunk. And put the weight down just to 180 pounds to get the 86 acceleration. As you can see, if you go like any higher, then you lose that 86 acceleration. And the wingspan, I know this actually sounds crazy, but you want to minimize the wingspan, bro. Reason why is because, look, you still have a 92 driving dunk, but look at your shooting, bro. Your shooting goes, like, way up. 71 mid-range, 61 three-pointer, 99, that'll be 65, and 75 mid-range with 11 shooting badges. So, you'll actually be able to shoot, um, like, with takeover if your team has four generals. So, yeah. And a 99 overall gym rat, you'll have a 95 speed, 94 acceleration with a 99 vertical and a 58 strength. And 58 strength for guards actually isn't that bad. Um, you're finishing, you have a 96 close shot with a 99 driving lip and a 96 driving dunk. So with 28 finishing badges, and those can be Hall of Fame. So yeah, you're you're actually going to have really, really good finishing. You'll be, able to you'll be able to dunk on like a lot of people. So yeah. Um, and you'll have a 75 mid range with a 65 three-pointer and 84 post fade. So yeah, like I said, you'll actually be able to shoot with this build. Um, if your teammate has floor general, you have shooting boost, um, you have takeover and all that stuff. So yeah. And you also have an 87 ball handle, so you will be able to speed boost with this build, which would be absolutely crazy. And then your defense, you'll have a 78 perimeter with a 76 lateral and an 81 steal with a 59 defensive rebound. So, yeah, this is a really, really good build. Um, now, the takeover, I'll go with the slashing take. You could go playmaking if you want, but for me, I'm going with the slashing take. And, yeah, this is the build. This is the slasher build. So, you DeJounte Murray, John Morant, and Steve Francis. Now the finishing, um, you do have 28 finishing, so you, that means you can actually get 7 Hall of Fame badges. So you want to go contact finisher, and then you want to go relentless finisher. Giant Slayer, just because you're 6'5 and stuff, most of the bigs are like 6'8, 6'9, so yeah. Um, they're going to be a lot taller, so yeah, make sure you go with that. So the finisher, you want to go showtime, and then, um, no, I'm not going teardropper. Um, let's see, I'm going to go consistent finisher, and then I'm going to go with um, fancy footwork. Now the shooting. So, you want to go Volume Shooter, Range Extender, House 100, and you want to go Green Machine, alright? Now, your playmaking. You want to go Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Floor General, and then I'll put Ankle Breaker. Now, the defense. Um, for me, I'm just going to go Clamp, so it's really up to you. And, yeah, that's the first. So, this is the second build. Um, this is the Shooting and Finishing Half and Half Pie Chart. So, um, so, this is the second one down right here. Cause like I said, we're going from top to bottom. So we're going, last build we did this one, and this one, the next one is gonna be um, this one right here. So for this one, you wanna go with the um, shooting and finishing pie chart, you wanna go with the pure speed for physical profile. Now the finishing, you wanna max out the close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, and put your standing dunk just so you get 15 finishing. Now the shooting, you wanna max out the mid range, three point free throw, so you get 18 shooting badges. Now the playmaking, max out the pass accuracy and ball handle. And then put the post moves just so you get 14 playmaking badges. So right here. And the defense. Max up the perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal, and defensive rebound. And put the rest on block. So you get six defensive badges. So look at look at the bad spread here, bro. This is this is really, really balanced. 15 finishing, 18 shooting, 14 playmaking, 6 defense. This is like the BP build from 2K20. 
But, um, yeah, there's a total of 53 badges. So yeah, really, really good badge spread. Body shape, I'm just gonna go solid, but it's really up to you. Now, the height. This may surprise you, but you actually want to go down to 6 feet, alright? Like, 6 feet, I know, like, you're, um, like, your driving don't go down to stuff, and, like, you won't have such a good defense. But look, look at the speed, look at the ball handle and all that stuff, bruh. Trust me, going 6 foot is the best height. Now the weight, um, you want to put it down just to get that 90 acceleration to put that to 160. And the wingspan, um, you actually want to go with the minimum wingspan, bro. Now look, now look at the build, bro. At 99 overall gym rate, you have a 99 speed with a 98 acceleration and a 79 vertical. So yeah, you'll still have a 99 speed, which would be really, really good. Now you're finishing, you have an 88 close shot with a 92 driving layup and a 77 driving dunk. Um, with TakeOver at 99 overall, you'll actually have a 87 driving dunk. So yeah, if you pick slashing TakeOver, so you will still be able to get contact dunks with this build. Um, and you're shooting, you have a 90 mid-range shot with an 88 three-point shot. So yeah, your, your shooting is going to be really good, especially with Hall of Fame shooting badges. Now the playmaking, you have a, um, what is it, you have a 82 pass accuracy with a 90 ball handle. So yeah, 90 ball handle will be crazy. And the reason why I actually want 6 feet minimum wingspan, as you can see, you get the 86 ball handle. And if you didn't know with 86 ball handle, you could actually speed boost off the rip, which is crazy. Now the defense, you have a 78 perimeter with a 77 lateral and an 84 steel. So yeah, 84 steel is actually really, really good. So yeah, this is a W of a build. This is more of like an ISO sort of build. Like you can literally just run with the stretch on the twos court, uh, put on diamond or floor general. And if they guard you up, you can rim run, or if they play back, you shoot. I guess it's really unstoppable, and then they have to guard the stretch too. So yeah, this is really just like a toxic ISO build. Now the takeover, I'm going with the slash and takeover, so you get the contact dunks. And yeah, this is the scoring machine build. So you have Damian Lillard, Darius Garland, and Trey Young. Now the finishing, um, you want to go contact finisher. And then you want to go relentless finisher, um, swordy finisher, and then, yeah, I'm just going to go with showtime, but it's really up to you. Now the shooting, um, you want to go green machine, range extender, high zone hunter. Remember, you have Hall of Fame shooting badges, so, <laughs> like, you'll be able to shoot really good. Um, and you want to go clutch shooter on Hall of Fame. Now the playmaking, um, you want to go gold for general, gold handles for days, gold quick first step, and you want to go ankle breaker, which is really toxic on the twos court, especially if you're isoing. And then for me, I'm going to go with Unpluckable, but again, it's really up to you. Now the defense, you want to go Clips on Silver, Intimidator on Silver, and the Pick Dodger on Silver. And yeah, that is the um, Scoring Machine build. Alright, so this is the third and final build. Um, this is going to be the more finishing than shooting pie chart. So again, you want to go with Point Guard for the position. And then this is the third pie chart right here, so there's like a little more finishing than shooting. So yeah, you want to go with that, and you want to go with the Pure Speed for your physical profile. Now the finishing, you want to max out the close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, and put your standing dunks to get 17 finishing badges. Now the shooting, max out the mid-range, three-point, free throw, and put your post fade to get um, 17 shooting badges. Now the playmaking, max out the pass accuracy, ball handle, and put your post moves to get um, 14 playmaking badges. So yeah, as you can see, again, the offensive attributes are really, really like well-rounded. 17 finishing, 17 shooting, 14 playmaking. That is really, really good. Now the defense, max the perimeter, defense, lateral quickness, steal, defensive rebound, put the rest on block, so you get 6 defensive badges, so 17, 17, 14, and 6 is a total of 54 badges, so you get really, really good badge spread. Now body shape, you want to go with the um, solid for the body shape, but again, it's really up to you. Now the height, you want to stay at 6'3", the reason why you, like, you, you don't want to go short is because that driving dunk goes down, as you can see, and if you go too high, then your ball handle goes down, your speed, so you might as well just go with 6'3". Now the weight you want to put um, just to get that 88 acceleration, so put that to 173 pounds. And the wingspan, you want to put it up just to 82.2. Now you might recognize this build from my channel before, but look at how well-rounded this build is, bro. First, I'm going to start with the physicals at 99 with Jeremy. You have a 96 speed, 96 acceleration, the 80 vertical, so that's going to be really good. Now the finishing, you have a 93 close shot with a 95 driving lip and an 86 driving dunk suit, so you will be able to get um, all the contact dunks. You'll get the pro and elite. And now the shooting, you have an 83 mid-range with an 81 three-pointer. So with 17 shooting badges, you should be able to shoot like just fine. Now the playmaking, you have an 82 pass accuracy with an 86 ball handle. So 86 driving dunk, 81 three-pointer, 86 ball handle. You will you will be able to speed boost. Now the defense, bro, 81 perimeter, 79 lateral, 86 steal, and a 68 defensive rebound. 
So look at the stats, bro. Like, just, <laughs> like, again, 86 driving dunk, 95 lib, 83 mid, 81 three, 86 ball handle, 81 perimeter defense, 86 steal. Like, your steal, your ball handle, and your driving dunk will all be 86, which will be crazy. This is why this is one of the best well-rounded builds. Now, the takeover, um, I'm gonna go with the slashing takeover, but it's really up to you. And this is the slasher build. She has Damian Lillard, Kevin Johnson, Jamal Murray. Now your badge is your finishing. You want to go contact finisher on Hall of Fame. And then you want to go Showtime. Um, Slurry finisher. I'm going to go with Giant Slurry just on um, Silver. And then you want to go Relentless finisher. Now the shooting. Um, you want to go Green Machine. Um, Hot Zone Hunter. Uh, Rainy Sender. And then you want to go Volume Shooter. And then you have six left. Um, I'm going to go with Deadeye. And you want to go with Clutch Shooter. Now the playmaking. You want to go Handles for Days. Um, you want to go Unpluckable. Quick first step, um, and you want to go with floor general, and then you want to go angle breaker. Now the defense, um, like I said, you always need clamps, and then intimidator and pig dodger if you're guarding ball and stuff. So yeah, those are defensive badges, and that is it. If you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and let's get to 600 subs. And this is Airball, peace.